In this video today, we're going to laminate some cardstock with decofoil using stencils and decofoil transfer gel and decofoil along with my laminator. And we're going to create these two pieces. And so let's begin. Okay, in this project today, I'm going to take some Stampin' Up! Sweet Sugar Plum cardstock and I'm going to take some lilac decofoil and a stencil that I have. I think this was from a We Are Memory Keepers bundle with a stamping platform of theirs that I got. I'm going to use decofoil transfer gel. I'll use some craft knives that I got at the Dollar Tree. And as I mentioned, this is the deco foil that I'm using. This is the color lilac. And so let's begin. Okay, I'm going to start by spraying the back of my stencil with some Krylon Easy Tack. Okay, I've given this a few minutes now to dry. And I will take my cardstock and then I will position this on. Now I'll take my transfer gel and I will remove this top. And then I'll just place this liberally on here. And I'm going to spread this out evenly and then scrape off the excess and put it back into the jar. Okay, and then I'll just use a baby wipe to wipe that up. I will carefully remove my stencil. Oops, that's a little bit too much tack. Unfortunately, it removed some of the paper. And now I'm going to set that aside to dry. And unfortunately, I think the glue I used to tack the back of the stencil was a little too strong. And I'm also going to take the stencil now and clean it with some water. And I decided I wanted to stencil the small piece also. And so I'll just use this stencil that I had in my stash. And instead of using the spray on glue, I'm just going to use some washi tape to tape it down. And I'll add the Decofoil Transfer Gel to this stencil as I did the last one. And while we're waiting, I'm going to go clean off my stencil as well as my knife. And for the small piece, I think I'll use some Rainbow Arc deco foil. Okay, so I've cut this smaller piece. Okay, these have cleared up. I don't know how well this will do because there's a lot of residue on here from the adhesive that I used on the back of that stencil. Uh, this one I didn't use any adhesive on the back of the stencil so hopefully we'll get a better idea of how that's doing. I'm warming up, warming up my laminator and so I'll get everything ready. And I'm going to use some parchment paper to sandwich in the cardstock and the foil as I send it through the laminator. Okay, the laminator shows is ready. So we'll start by sending this one through first. So I'm 
shiny side up for the foil. And I'm going to send it through a second time. This time I'm going to put it upside down. Okay, and I'm going to set this aside to cool for a bit. Then we're going to take this one where I've got my the shiny side, the good side of the foil facing up. And so we'll send this through. And I'll turn it over and send it through upside down also. Okay, and we're ready for the reveal. We'll start with this one. And so I will just pull it back. And here you see it. Okay, and now we'll try this one. I don't know how this one's going to turn out. Well, it actually did not turn out all that badly. It's not too bad. I mean, there are some places that missed. And we'll work on getting rid of some of these little extra things. And I'll start by trimming down the pieces. Okay, to clean up some of these areas, I'll just use my craft knife to carefully scratch it away. And I'll use my electric eraser to try and smooth out the areas that were messed up by the glue on the back of the stencil. And here are our final two pieces of the foiled pages using stencils and decafoil and decafoil transfer gel along with my laminator. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!